So Landstar has the state plane coordinate system of 2022, the preliminary values built into it today. So we can use those for surveys. And I'll show you the advantage of the 2022 state plane zones. So I have a job loaded here with two points. I've got the southwest corner and the northwest corner, a mile distance, uh, for section 13, which is nearby here. And we can figure out the combined scale factor that's required for both Utah North, which is the NAD 83 zone, and Browns Park Road zone, which is the 2022. Let's go back, we'll go to project and single point localization. And if we turn this on, we'll choose point number three, the southwest corner. Click on calculate. Down here, you'll see the combined scale factor is 1.00028, so three zeros. That's about 1.52 feet per mile. So if I have two points that are a mile distance from each other, and I inverse them at grid, and I inverse the distance at ground, there'll be about 1.52 feet difference between those. So let's go back and let's pick the new system. You can do that by clicking on a from lib and then predefined, and we'll pick United States, SPS S22, and there's a thousand here, so I'm gonna type in part of the name. Utah Browns Park Road. I'll click on select here. And um, I'll click on select again. I'm going to add a G18 to the end of its name. I'm going to click on vertical adjustment and choose G18. If I forget to do that, Landstar will prompt me when I try and use a projection without a geoid. I'm going to click on Save to Lib, and I'll click on Accept. So now that zone will be in my Landstar installation as one of the most commonly used projections. We'll go to Single Point Localization and turn it on here. I'm going to recall point number three again. And we'll go down and click on Calculate. And the combined scale factor is now... 0.9999643. So that's about 10 times better than NAT83. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.